All right, so today I'm going to show you two things. Uh, they may not seem to be related at first, but they actually go really nicely together. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to import paper wallets. So what is a paper wallet? Uh, they look generally something like this. Um, it's literally a piece of paper, but they have keys on them to allow you to open um, cryptocurrency wallets from any computer. Um, so you see it has a private and a public key, and I'll explain what those are in just a second. So I got this one from uh, my buddies over at CryptoCrate at uh, getcryptocrate.com. Uh, sorry for the shameless plug. They're in real life friends of mine. So I told them I'd uh, help them out. And this month in my CryptoCrate, um, this is one of the things I got was a paper wallet for PIVX, the PIVX cryptocurrency. I think I got this shirt too um, in one of them. I can't remember which one. This paper wallet, you'll see a public address and a private address. Let me get it right up there. Uh, and yes, this is real. So the first person to watch this video can see these keys and, and get this money. Um, so your private keys are something that a lot of the people that watch this channel that are traders don't always see. Um, what the private keys are is you can think of it as a password. Effectively, you can use it as a password. Now I know the tech guys out there are screaming at me that I'm an idiot right now because behind the scenes, it works very, very different than a password but you can use it that way. Um, the difference being um, the private key is used to generate what the public address is. So because of that, it'll work on any, any computer. If your computer dies, you get a brand new computer, um, all you need is that private key to regenerate your wallet. It doesn't have to be backed up in the cloud, nothing like that. So the private key is the most important thing, but although it, allow, it'll, it allows you to regenerate your wallet, it'll also allow anybody to regenerate your wallet. So you want to keep it in a safe space. Don't let anybody um, get it. Keep it in your safe at home or whatever. Um, but this is also why people say that you shouldn't hold too much money on exchanges because they don't give you the private key more often than not. The exchange themselves hold the private key for your wallet. Therefore, you can't just recover your funds no matter what. If the exchange goes down, you lose your funds. You can't recover them because you don't have the private key. Uh, you're at the mercy of the exchange. A common saying is that if you don't have the private key, you don't actually have the money. And that's really true. Uh, so just keep that in mind whenever you're done trading for the day. A lot of times, if you know you're not going to use the money the next day in the exchange, it's best to just transfer it to your paper wallet or something like that where you actually do hold the private keys. Um, so as long as anyone has the private key, they can access this wallet. So the first person to watch this video is going to see that private key and be able to regenerate this wallet. Um, there's one PIVX in there, so have at it. Um, depending on the cryptocurrency, uh, this is a disclaimer, depending on the cryptocurrency, this process could vary slightly. Um, the concepts of importing a paper wallet are all the same, but depending on the interface, um, each different cryptocurrency might use might be a little bit different. Um, so keep that in mind if, if you're using, if you're trying to import something other than a PIVX wallet. Um, anything kind of with a GUI wallet that ends in dash QT, like Bitcoin QT, PIVX QT, Litecoin QT, anything like that is gonna pretty much look the same like this as this, but some of the newer stuff might be slightly different. So let me go ahead and show you and do a screencast and show you what it looks like to import a paper wallet. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the official wallet of whatever cryptocurrency you have a paper wallet for. So I went to pivx.org and downloaded their official wallet. Now there are there are other wallets out there that you can use. You don't have to use the official one for importing private keys. There's a few pieces of software out there that will do it, but it's always, uh, in my opinion, better safe than sorry. Just go with the official client um, and download that. Now, once you have that installed and up and running, you can go to the debug console um, this is where you're able to do a lot of more advanced things. What you can always do is type help, and that will show you all the commands you can do. So in this case, we're looking for the command import private key. You'll see it up there. It takes one parameter, just the private key itself. So we'll type import private key. And then type in that super long private key. This could take some time, so I'm just going to skip ahead.
yeah, don't worry. It gets really frustrating, and you'll probably get it wrong a couple times before you get it right. Um, but that's just kind of the nature of how this thing works. Just keep in mind, the longer it is, the more secure it probably is. Um, so you press enter after you, after you put in the private key, and it will do what's called rescanning. In some wallets, you will have to type rescan. So if it doesn't do that automatically for your cryptocurrency wallet, you'll um, have to type rescan. This one did it automatically. It rescanned the whole uh, blockchain for that private key, and it found that one PIVX that was in this wallet, and now you have access to that. So you'll notice one thing is that it added this wallet to your existing wallet. It didn't replace what you already have. So if you already had some PIVX in there, um, you now just have the one PIVX in addition to that that you imported from the paper wallet. And you can just still send and receive like you normally would. So that's about all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Um, check out, you know, the paper wallet I got was from getcryptocrate.com. Check that out if you're interested. And thanks for watching.